Assalamu alaikum everyone Today I have another recipe for an instant pot And I'll be making mutton chops um, in the instant pot And then um, later on I'll just pan fry it to just give it the uh, like a little glaze um, Here are the ingredients, very simple as you can see um, Just uh, about 14 to 15 pieces of um, chops And then I have ginger garlic paste lemon juice, salt, pepper, red chilies, um, just simple um, spices. So there I'm just going to um, take the lemon juice and the ginger garlic paste, also salt and black pepper and I'll um, mix it really well into the meat and after that I'll let it marinate for about half an hour and uh, once that's done, I'll um, add the rest of the spices, which are just um, red, uh, red chili pepper and also I have uh, red chili pepper flakes and also garam masala, coriander powder um, and some jack masala. That's optional. Um, you can either add it directly to the marinade or you can just sprinkle some on later um, once the chops are done. So um, once I've uh, added the spices in there, I won't um, leave it to marinate for too long. I'll um, just place them in the instant pot um, and um, I'll add some water at the bottom and I'll show you how um, I'll do that. But first I'm just going to show you how I'll um, add the spices and then just mix them really well into the chops. <music> So once everything is mixed well into the chops, I'll um, get the instant pot ready. And to do that, I'll, um, I won't have to saute or anything like that. I'll just get the rack that, which comes with the, the pot and you buy it. And then I'll um, place it at the bottom of the pot and add only a half a cup of water. Um, because I'll be steaming um, the chops first uh, for about 17 minutes on high pressure. So there you can see, I'll just place the chops onto uh, the rack there and then I'll make sure they don't go into the water. Um, and they're pretty big, so I'm just keep stacking them on top of each other. And after that, I'll um, just close the pot and don't add any oil at this point. Um, so I'm just going to close the pot and you can see I'm just like make, make sure making sure they're like on top of each other uh, flat um, And we want to cook them until the meat is tender again um, Not falling off the bone. So yes, you need it to be tender enough to be coming off the bone But not like you know breaking from the bone too much and then um, so there I'm just going to close the pot at this point and then seal it and um, just let it um, steam for 17 minutes on high pressure and once that's done I'll show you the next step so um, once the instant pot timer goes off I'll just release the steam and uh, remove the chops into a plate and let them sit on a room temperature for um, 10 to 12 minutes only so um, they're already dry they're not very moist so we just want them to be dry enough so when we fry it we don't have um so like the, the the marinade stays onto the chops and doesn't come off or going so um, you can see i'm just going to um remove all of them um into a plate and then um, just leave it on countertop for 10 to 12 minutes and then I have perfectly fine gravy which I'll show you um, what I'll use it for um, a little bit later on but first we're going to pan fry the chops just to give them the finished um, touch um, and just in about a couple of tablespoons of oil because we never added any oil in the marinade and there you can see um, 
I'm just going to, on high heat, I'll fry, um, just pan fry both sides for a minute on each side. Um, you can also do, um, uh, broil it in the oven for a minute, um, for a couple of minutes because you don't want them to get too dry. And pan frying actually um, just helps me uh, get this, um, the finished look. And uh, also, um, it does, they, they're still very nice and moist, like they're not too dry. Um, so there, um, once that's done, um, what I'll be doing is I'll um, add uh, about two cups of rice, a cup and a half of uh, frozen green peas, one tablespoon of salt, and uh, three tablespoons of fried onion into uh, the leftover gravy. And I'll just um, cook it on the rice setting in the instant pot, and I'll have like a perfectly, um, well, like plow, like a green pea plow. Um, so if you want to um, have like another side with the chops and um, this is my suggestion because you don't waste the gravy this way um, I mean it's perfectly fine gravy it has a lot of the spice that came off the uh, chops so um, we don't even need to add any of the spice just salt to a flavor of the rice and then all the other spices are in the gravy and then um, also um, you can um, use this gravy for other recipes like dolls and vegetables so if you don't want to make the rice you can just save the gravy but um, don't throw it away because it would be a waste and then um, I've also added um, the oil which I had which I used to uh, fry the chops because it was only like maybe one or two tablespoon left so I added that to the gravy and the rice as well instead of adding fresh oil um, uh, this is my way of just utilizing um, the leftover um, ingredient. Like, you know, just, uh, I mean, it's perfectly fine to use this gravy. So this is how I like to use it. Um, and it's only two cups of rice. So you can um, have a very easy um, side to the ribs or the chops. Um, I hope you like this recipe. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.